In this tutorial, I'm going to describe how you can design your theme template or website using Template Toaster. Template Toaster can be used to design your theme or template for various content management systems like Zoomla, WordPress, Drupal, Blogger, Magento, and PrestaShop. It can also design static HTML5 websites. Let's continue with designing a WordPress theme. Next, you are given options whether you want to start from scratch or go with the simple templates. User may prefer to modify the pre-designed templates of the template toaster. I'll go with the start from scratch option. Here you can set the colors and typography for your theme. Default preset is that of bootstrap and I'll stick to the default colors. Click on the start button. This is the main UI of the template toaster and first tab is your general tab. General tab covering various options. Here are the pre designed templates of the template toaster. And color scheme will give you the inbuilt color schemes of the template toaster. These are the two layout options of your theme. And from here, you can switch from one template type to another on a single click. This option is to add a page template to your theme and from here you can switch from one page template to another and can do individual styling of each page template. Typography option is for the user to write the text styles for their text, for their headings and for the individual elements of the whole document. Next tab is my body tab. First option it covers is the background. Other options for your background is the background radiance and the background images. You may also add texture to your body and effects also. Your body background can be set to fixed and scroll through these options. This option will add a scroll to top button to your website and next tab is your page tab. Background option to set the background of your page. And layout option, your page layout can be fixed or fluid. You can set the width of your page from here and margin of the page can be given from the top and from the bottom. And from border options, we have border style, thickness, radius, color. You can go to set the texture, effects, and shadow of your page. Next tab is your header tab. First option under the header tab is the presets option showing you the different designs for your header, and you can make your header look more attractive through the background options, texture, effects, and the shadow option. You may also apply a foreground image to your header. And next option is to add a text area. Just double click on this text area to add some text. And here I'm in editing of my text by giving the proper phone size. Now you can design your text area with options like background, effects, and border. Next option is the header title option and where is designing options for the title are typography and heading type. Similarly, you have options for your slogan, typography and heading style. You can also add a logo to your header or browse your own logo to the more options. Next tab is our slideshow tab. You may add or remove a slideshow from your template or theme by simply unchecking or checking this option and then we have option for adding or removing slides from your slideshow. Next two buttons meant for moving to next or previous slides and in order to give a dazzling look to your slideshow you can use the various transition effects from the drop down. And you can do better designing with the background options, layout options, texture, effects and the shadow options. Just like in case of header, you may also add a foreground image to your slideshow. And to this foreground image, you may add a transition effects just like I am applying the fading. Similarly, we have options like slide effect and the easing effect for the foreground image. 
you can draw a text area to the slideshow and these are the various designing options for your text area like background effects border transition effects slide effect and the easing effect here in this theme i'm not using slideshow so i'm unchecking this option and next tab is my menu tab first option under the menu tabs is the presets option giving the redefined designs for your menu and you can make your menu look more catchy through the background options layer options effects option and low can also be added to the menu from the gallery foreground image and text area can also be added various options for the menu buttons are separator height margin padding and alignment alignment options can be left center right and justify i'm choosing it to be center only and designing of the menu buttons can be done through the background option border option and typography option you can choose your sub menu to open or click or hover of a mouse sub menu layout can be chosen to be mega vertical or horizontal and for the more attractive and efficient designing various sub menu container options and sub menu item options have also been provided next tab is our sidebar tab first option on the sidebar tabs is the layout option and from here you can set your sidebar i'm setting it to be the left sidebar where styling options for our sidebar is the background layout options effects option and next tab is our widgets tab under the widgets tab first option is the presets option showing you the designs for your widgets you can do the styling of your widgets to the container properties option or header properties option and the content properties option next tab is the sidebar menu tab presets will give you the redefined designs for your sidebar menu and four parts of your sidebar menu container header menu button sub menu you can do their styling individually according to your requirement next tab is the content tab first option under the content tab is the presets option showing the different designs for your content and these are the various options under the content properties like border margin padding and line height and various designing options like background texture effect and shadow parts of your content are post comment form and comment and first we will discuss the post option this is our post part where i'm applying the background now and all those options on the post are here next we will discuss the comment form and comment this is our comment form and there is options for the comment form are border margin padding shadow and typography and here i'm applying the background to the comment these are the various properties for the comment like image position can be set to left or right and to make it more grabbing you may apply background also now we are going to talk about widget areas and next is our widget areas tab widget areas are most important part of our theme and we can add as many as widget areas they add both above or below your header above and below your menu and similarly for your content and footer first two buttons are for the addition and deletion of the position bar background border margin padding are the designing options of your position bar these are the two buttons to add and remove your position cell from the position bar and other design options are background border margin and padding you can also draw a position to your header and similarly position to your menu you can move this position anywhere on your header and designer options for your positions are background and border next tab is your elements tab first option on the elements tab are the buttons and for these button we have various options available like presets background border typography effects and padding 
and next we will talk about our text box and we can do the designing of this text box through the options like background, border, typography, height and width. We have pagination and breadcrumbs also. For these we have various options available. And next coming to the block quotes. We can do the designing of these block quotes through the background, border, typography, margin, padding and icons option. Next we are going to talk about label, alert and badges. We are having six type of labels. Default, primary success, information, warning and danger. And four type of alerts, success, information, warning and danger. We can do their styling individually through the background, border and typography options. Similarly, we have various styling options for the badges and coming to the checkbox and radio button, various styling options are available. Next tab is your footers tab. Moving to the footers. First option under the footers tab is the presets option showing you the different predefined designs for your footer. In various designing options for your photos are available like background, layout, effect, foreground and text area and social media icons can easily be added to the photo from the gallery like RSS icon, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and Google Plus. Next tab is your responsive layout tab. From here you can check or uncheck this option whether you want your design to be responsive one or not. Here I am choosing it to be responsive and you can see your design prepared in tablet just on a single click and this is your view in mobile. Here you can see how a website looks in mobile and suppose I want to delete this text area so just double click and delete it. You can do other changes like setting the position of your title. Now back to desktop. Here the changes made in mobile are limited to your mobile only. Now we are going to discuss about the three options of preview, export and save. This is the list of the browsers in which you can see your design. I prefer to see my design in Mozilla Firefox. This is your live website in a web browser. Now you need to export your WordPress theme. Here I am exporting my theme with the name demo and export. Last but not the least you need to save your design for future editing. This is the save button on the quick access toolbar. And I am saving my design with the name demo. That's all. Thanks for watching. You can download template roster from www.templateroaster.com. Flash download. Thank you. Thank you so much.